what's up beautiful people so i decided over the last couple days that i wanted to do a video blog i don't ever do these but um i have seen and heard lots of things in the last you know week since this pandemic has kind of taken control of everyone's lives and um a lot of this stuff is actually really disheartening um so it kind of led me to this whole idea of what kind of person are you going to be in times of trouble like this? Are you going to be someone who um, reacts to situations like this by controlling others, by holding other people down, by taking advantage of other people, um, using excuses? Or are you going to be the type of person that uses this as an opportunity to be better, to lift other people up, um, to be a positive light in people's lives. Um, cause to me, it's extremely telling about one's character. And when I say one, I mean people, but I also mean businesses. It's extremely telling, um, about one's character and integrity, the way people and or businesses respond to things like this. Um, to share a couple of the of the things I mean, you know, there is a particular gym brand that I have um, an experience with recently. Anyway, they're expanding into markets and so they're new. And at some point before the coronavirus, they offered a weekly guest pass, like which is standard in the fitness industry f to allow people to come in, try the gym, decide if they're gonna like it before they join. Well, as of now, not only has this gym club brand stayed open when, you know, pretty much the government mandate is that all gyms be closed because, you know, the whole point is that we all do our part to not contribute to the spread of the disease. Anyway, so number one, this gym is not really listening to any of that and staying open. But secondly, they have now decided that they're no longer going to offer the weekly pass. And instead, you have to pay to train for the week. Um, so again, my thing is why, because of this pandemic, do you have to change your policy? Like, um, the second thing is, uh, you know, in the fitness industry with regard to people prepping for shows, um, and or who have had goals that they've been working towards. Um, and I hear a lot of people making excuses or upset or crying because they can't do certain things that they were able to do before. Um, when they act kind of like they're entitled to be able to do these things. Um, and the thought process among coaches is, you know, if you're someone who is experiencing those types of feelings, that you're probably in it for the wrong reason. And, uh, you know, that if you truly were about this lifestyle or about reaching the goals, you would not be derailed from those goals even with what's happening, okay? So um, never once in my heart and mind have I complained or felt slighted in any way or felt the need to cry. And I'm an extremely emotional person on a lot of issues, but uh, yeah, it's alarming to me when I think about it. And one of the things that I have chosen to share with my competitors who thank God none of them have complained or cried or bitched or whatever, but um, is, you know, these are the times that make champions, you know, what kind of person are you going to be? Are you going to be the person who's a slave to your excuses? Or are you going to be the type of person who takes this as an opportunity to be better and to evolve and, you know, and who's going to continue like chasing the dream and, and, and continue working towards the goals, irregardless of what's going on in the world around them. And are you going to be the type of person who finds a way through the obstacle and comes out a champion? Because like my friend and for fellow coach Ryan Hinton, you know, pointed out in a post recently, like this is the time that builds champions. They don't stop doing what they're doing because, you know, they have one little obstacle. Now is the time. And like my people, you know, some of his people, where are the people that are going to come out on the other end uh, even better for it? Because you're not just doing it for one show or your, your life and world shouldn't revolve around one event. You know, uh, if you are in this, you should be doing it because these are the choices and the lifestyle that you want to lead. So 
irregardless of whether you're going to be able to do a show or a show is canceled, like you should still be doing these same things. Um, you know, cause the world is going to still go on and it's still going to turn two months from now, three months from now, you know? So again, are you going to be someone who's going to be ahead of the curve when that time comes? Are you going to be sitting in your space, crying, wiping your eyes, making all the excuses of why, you know, you didn't, come out of the top at your show or why you weren't able to progress the way you thought you should have. Um, the other thing is, uh, small side note, um, we are not in a water shortage. So I am extremely disturbed when I see people posting that they have water bottles available. Okay. Newsflash. We're not in a water shortage. You have plenty of water. Okay. So let me just share two things with you. A, Invest in a BPA-free bottle or some type of, you know, gallon, okay? And use the filtration system on the refrigerator that you have. Most refrigerators have filtered water. And or B, go buy a Brita filtered pitcher and fill that sucker up with tap water and filter your own water. There is absolutely no need now in times of crisis or ever for you to buy those cases of plastic bottles because you're lazy okay uh because those are a environmental danger and in case you haven't been following the news lately we are also in an environmental crisis so do your part and use one bottle and fill your water up the next thing that i want to talk about from a global standpoint is you know let's talk about china <laughs> um the host of a ton of our problems but now we have china chinese officials okay literally going around villages taking people's pets and killing them out of fear that it's going to give them the coronavirus well newsflash that's not how the coronavirus got started and the other phenomenon that's happening is naively people are surrendering their animals giving them up because again they think they're going to get the coronavirus Please do not surrender your animals. Please do not be part of that ignorant population that thinks that dumping your animals at the shelter is gonna solve your problems because it's not. Um, if you're that kind of person, you don't really deserve to have an animal or a pet in the first place. Um, the other thing is I have friends and people who are saying that their employers are now telling them what they can and can't do in their personal time. Um, I don't know. Let me just say this, but the gyms are closed. And so tons of people are taking this opportunity to get out in their environment to the parks and places to stay fit and to stay active. That's a great thing. That's what you should be doing employers, people, friends, they should be supporting you doing that. If your employer is telling you that you cannot go to an outdoor park and partake in fitness activities outside, that's a problem. Um, and it leads me to this bigger discussion is, are you the type of person or are you the type of company that believes in ruling by holding others down? Uh, because that is alarming to me. Um, whether you're in the fitness industry or not, collectively as a humanity as a whole, we should be trying to lift people up. We should be trying to support them in whatever it is they do, especially if it's positive. Um, you know, so again, I, I'm really just at a loss for words on how some people react in these times. It's quite telling, uh, so anyway, if you've taken anything away from this blog and if something has resonated with you, please be sure to share it with me in the comments um, or DM me. But yeah, uh, you know, one of the biggest things I believe is like being authentic and staying true to yourself. And, you know, in life, people are trying to hold others down all along the way. It's happened to myself recently. And all I can say is being an authentic, honest person and being real with myself, that's that's the win. Um, you know, the truth will set you free. So for those people who feel like they need to do that, you know, I have, I want no part of those kind of people. So 
what I'm trying to do is inspire you to be true to yourself. Don't let others control you. Um, do what makes you happy as long as it's, you know, it, it's, it doesn't hurt anyone. Um, and also use your voice to stand up and speak out against the things that you see, you know, and hopefully we can take this time to be good humans. Um, hashtag be a good human. So I hope that you guys are taking your days and your downtime to be productive and to do the things that make you happy. Have a great day.